What's up guys? Welcome back to the Stafford Wade channel. I'm sitting in the dining room of our new home. And uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to go through and bury our dog wire that I got. Um, it's our electric dog fence that keeps our dogs in. We have it, had it for about a couple months now. Um, about the length of time we lived in our new home. And uh, it's worked really well. Uh, I don't really believe in shocking your dog. Uh, <laughs> I just, I don't like it. But I, I will say that uh, the system that we have has worked really well. They've been shocked maybe once or twice and they never really go back towards that area. So I don't have to worry about them actually being shocked because they're smart enough to once they they uh, learn where the boundary is, they don't even go close to it. Like this, I'll show you in a minute that my dogs are so scared of the wire that they won't even go close to the area, general area, period. And, and it, I, we live on acres, so they'll run around the entire yard and I have the perimeter and some areas that I don't want them to be around. Uh, locked down away from them. and I mean other than that they can run wherever they want to go They get in as much trouble as they want to do and they can still have fun without getting past our boundary Now I will say that if your dog wants to just take off and run after something Or if, if it really wants to get across and it hasn't learned the boundary and it's not scared of it It will go across so you have to really train your dog which it doesn't take much Maybe just walking them to it letting them get shocked or hear the beep a couple times and you can have it on a low shock you can turn the the volume or the shock up on it and i'll show you all that once we get into it but i mean other than that as long as you train them and show them what it is they it, it's not a big deal and they won't go past it like i said though if they really see something like maybe a rabbit like i had experience they will go after it and that's a lesson that you got to learn and maybe teach them a couple more times hey that's a boundary but other than that like if they're just walking they will not go past that boundary so anyways I mean, quit talking about my dogs and, and get to the video. So the video, we're going to be uh, kind of explaining how I've done our yard and uh, reviewing this Premier Pet fence from Walmart. So I got this one from Walmart. I think you can get it on a couple other places like Amazon, of course, from their uh, company's website. But all it is is this system. I have it command hooked to our, our wall here. I can turn up the distance, but uh, I don't know if it's going to show me or not. But if I turn it down too much... It'll go completely off. Uh, so I keep it around six or seven. That's six or seven feet away from the boundary line that the dogs can go before they get shocked. And I like that. That way they stay away from the property line. So I don't have to worry about them going to the neighbor's yard. Um, and, it, and it just trains them from a distance. So they don't even get close to the line before they even get shocked. So it's nice. Now it comes with um, another plug-in piece that I'll have to get over there and show you in a minute. But you just hook your wires in. Now what you're technically supposed to do is... Um, if you want to keep them from getting shocked like in a certain spot you just take the wire and I have some wire here and you would just like literally just twist it um, around itself you know like a looped way I can't really explain it right now but it would look like something like that and you would do that wherever you want to go the length of that that you want to go um, and they wouldn't get shocked there but me I don't really care because none of the place that they go I want them to go so they can't get around it's a complete loop is what I have and um, it shows on the box and stuff when you buy it how to do it it shows you how to set it up super easy um, but what I'm going to show you is how it all goes together and how I've done it so that you can kind of get an idea so uh, you just hook the wires up into each spot so one goes in you know and goes around your property comes back and goes on the other side and that loops it you turn the dial to how far away you want it to be. But anyways, that's all you really have to do. And then you run it out your window or anywhere you have to because you need to keep it out of the weather um, and then run it around your property. So we have it inside our dining room, goes out the window. Um, and we're able to still shut and lock our window. So the wire is super thin gauge and works really well. Let me show you this piece and then I got to go outside. So this is what it plugs into. Now we're in an old style house, so our outlet's on the outside, but... Um, this black box goes into that, and that's just like a little, uh, I, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but it just, it's like your transmitter, that's all it is, and you can add more loops and stuff to it. But, I mean, that's all it really entails, so we're going to go outside and I'll actually show you um, how I have it lined out and put it in the ground. And then this is all it is, it's just a bunch of orange wire that you put around. So, anyways, let's get outside. Alright, so, I'm outside, now I'm going to show you the collars. And keep these crazy dogs to calm down. Okay, go, okay, come here, come here, come here. So, the collar is a little round. Okay, anyway, here's what the collar looks like. Um, it is kind of bulky, but it's got the battery on the front there, and you can replace the batteries for super cheap. 
Um, also, there's a dogs quit. There's a button that you can push right there, which hers don't have a cap on it. You can push that to set the shock, um, and you'll just watch right there in that little circle for how many times it blinks to tell you what level the shock is on. Now, what I have found is if your dog's super fluffy, or so like my husky or the chows, I have to put um, on like level four or five before they even really feel it because their their coat's so thick. Now, the lab I have hers on like two or three because they feel it really uh, easy where they're thin coat so anyways this is what the collar looks like super easy to use you just click it on snaps on super uh, strong so it stays on really well and uh, you can change the batteries out they last probably two to three months um, so you just make sure that they work every now and then but I'm telling you once they learn that boundary they don't even touch it okay so we're taking a quick break because Houston wants to help daddy make a fire so that's what we're gonna do so this is nasty Houston so we gotta dump some of this nasty water out. Don't worry, it's just wood and water. Drain, 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 drain. All right, we got that. Houston, now I need you to go grab some sticks, buddy. Start putting them in there, okay? You can do that for daddy. Can you do that for daddy? Look at them ears. All right, you do that, daddy be back. All right, so back to the fence. So we have it connected to our the edge of our house right there where you see our gutter um, and it goes into that window there and it comes around here stops there I used to have it go all the way to the edge of our property but now it just comes here we go all the way up past our patio so they can't go on this side it goes all the way up to our pile there and I didn't feel like moving the pile <laughs> so what I did was just went around it um, so you can see the wire here laid around and it does work on top of the ground but of course you want to mow and stuff so you got to move it to where you don't hit it and that means burying it and i'll show you that in a second and you can put these flags out so your dog can learn the flags but i mean once they get shocked i promise you they learn pretty quick so it goes around that and i had it before that went around my garden but now i got it here so they can't even go over there which is nice because i might use this for stuff later anyways so it goes all the way around the edge of our property don't want to show their stuff goes around that building and then let me go back to the front yard Houston's following me come on buddy hey this way this way so let me get out here so I have it going down to that propane tank that you see and it cuts over on both sides so I'm gonna show you this side and it's gonna be relatively the same for both okay so once we get down here you can see this big dip that comes around so the wire cuts around the house goes to the window the other end of it comes through here goes around our cellar and it does the same on the other side so they cannot go to the back door the problem was the dogs kept running to the back door and they really wanted to see us and they would jump and now you can see we have dirt stained there so i got to clean that but they they wore all this down to where it was mud so next summer i'm going to go through make us a nice little back place here that won't get so muddy and it'll stay clean and the dogs won't be able to get around here because the wires on this side so that's where we're at with the the fencing and everything but other than that uh, all i got to do is go through and what you do and i use a tiller to do this but you can use an edge or whatever you're going to go through and bury this about two to three inches to a foot deep however far down you want you don't want to go too far though or it will not uh, get enough uh, signal to the transmitter so you don't want to do too much but i'm going to go about three inches deep and then it's going to work good for my dog so well, that's all i can really tell you about the uh, electric fence that we got it's the premier pet from walmart is where we got it um it was about i believe 52 dollars that came with the roll of fencing that was like 480 feet almost uh, came with your transmitter and everything and your bark collar so it came with all that and you can get extra colors for like 20 bucks and then you can buy the batteries for like seven so the dogs are torturing my son i gotta go take care of him but we'll get back to finishing this up so stay tuned okay so let me finish this up real quick so the collars themselves are like 25 dollars or so for individual ones and we got a couple well of course we got four for our four dogs well one came with the set that was 52 dollars and then you can buy extra wiring for your yard um to cover however much yard is that you want to do and it comes with i think another 500 feet of uh, wiring more flags to put out and all that's about 
46 bucks so it, it can get pricey but it's really not that bad um and one box did pretty much our whole yard so one box did almost our whole yard before and we had our one collar and then we added the three um and then got an extra couple batteries to have in storage so really not that bad of a deal and it works really well for us so anyways that's all i got to say on my review of the premier pet um fencing for the dogs so if you need something for your dogs that's what we use i gotta go take care of the little man because he wants to start a fire and the dogs made him mad but anyways thanks for watching please hit that like and subscribe button ring that notification bell and i will see you in the next video peace